Anne Carolyn Bird, the Executive and Artistic Coordinator here at Virginia Opera. I'm very excited today to be sitting with Austin Taylor, uh, who contacted me on Facebook um, a few weeks ago saying, I love Turned Up, but I've never seen it. I've actually never seen an opera. How should I, what should I do? And I just thought, I want to talk to this guy. <laughs> and I want to know how a 22-year-old from Virginia Beach came to love Turn Dot. So first tell me a little bit about yourself um, and what do you do for a living right now? Well, my name's Austin Taylor, obviously. Um, I'm a construction worker mm -hmm. uh, in Virginia Beach. I do all sorts of construction. Um, and one of my favorite things, honestly, is being 40 feet in the air on a ladder listening to opera. That's it's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's one of the only ways I'll do it. Like, I'll go even higher if I have to, but. And so like, you'll have it on your your phone or something? Yeah, just plug it up in my ears and just That's, go. Do you ever take it take it out and let your colleagues listen to? They they honestly all think I'm crazy. That's great. But it's, it's just something that calms you down and just gets you more focused on what you need to do. I love it. You grew up in Virginia Beach? Yes. So where did you go to high school? Uh, Ocean Lakes High School. Okay. And uh, well, and shout out to Ocean Lakes. <laughs> Ocean Lakes. <laughs> <laughs> um, while while in Ocean Lakes, I went through choir mm -hmm. through uh, the director, Mr. Boardman, okay. and he's honestly one of the greatest choir teachers I have ever met. Like, taught me so much. He he's kind of one of the biggest influences on my music taste. Yeah. Um, because I I just go from metal to country to rap to the opera. Yep, that's and fantastic. It's, it's something that most people don't have, but I think it's people should have more of a, uh, you know, To explore part. everything, yes. yeah. There's, at, the, at the core, it's all about the same stuff, right? Yes. It's all about love and not being loved and not getting what you want out of life. So that's fantastic. You told me that in high school, you were the one who convinced your choir to sing um, Carmina Burana uh, or the O Fortuna. O, o, yes, from, O Fortuna. From, yeah, yes. that's um, tell me about it, that. Is, it was crazy because I didn't even, I, it came upon on accident. I was looking at some, you know, 60s, the doors, and yeah. for some reason O Fortuna came up, and I was like, this is a really cool song. <laughs> So uh, I went to Mr. Boardman and I was like, "Hey, man, we, we should do this." And he was like, "I don't I don't know, you know, whatever." And uh, the next year, he's like, "Hey, guess what? We're doing it." That's I was like, fantastic. "Yes!" Fantastic. <laughs> but good thing you asked him uh, before you were a senior. And oh yes. Then you would have missed it. It, so. it was my uh, junior year that we did. Perfect. And honestly, it's it was one of the uh, greatest concert I, I have. I mean, I've seen recordings of it. It was mm -hmm. so good. Um, we did O Fortuna and uh, Dia Ciudad. Yeah. Um, From the Mozart Requiem? Uh, yes, Mozart. Yeah. I mean, it's like You're, heavy metal. I, I listen to Requiem a lot at work. Yes, I bet. You know who else you would love then is Tchaikovsky. I love Tchaikovsky. It's my <laughs> favorite. <laughs> I remember sitting, <laughs> sitting in an uh, in the audience once at a symphony concert playing in Tchaikovsky and watching the double basses and they were like <laughs> and I was like they're at a rock concert right yes. now it's so great um, well cool we'll get you hooked up with the symphony <laughs> next time they're doing Tchaikovsky then um, so tell me um, how you came to love specifically Turing Um it's kind of I honestly don't even know how I found it but I found the movie Yes Giorgio with Luciano Pavarotti mm -hmm. And it ends off in uh, in Nessun Dorma, mm -hmm. uh, and he's just singing it, and it's just like one of the most powerful scenes in a movie I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And it, it sometimes brings a tear to my eye on how beautiful it is. Well, I am so excited for you to get to come see it here at Virginia Opera. Uh, Derek Taylor is singing our Kalaf. Getting to hear it on a recording up 40 feet in the air, that's amazing. Getting to hear it live, I'm yes. so excited for you. And uh, Lillian Groag, our director, has invited Austin to come to rehearsals anytime to watch, and uh, I think that's going to be a lot of fun too. Kelly K. Hogan is singing Princess Turandot. You got to meet her uh, earlier today, and she has sung the role all over the country, maybe even all over the world. Beautiful voice, uh, very powerful singer, and um, the rest of the cast is just fantastic too, so I'm really excited for you to get to see it. 
and to hear the orchestra in person. And yeah, so follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm going to get Austin to do some uh, social media action for us. You can experience Turandot along with our not an opera newbie, this is an opera lover who is just about to experience his first live opera, and I come along for the ride.